How many you got with you? I got three. All right. Let's get to it. Tell the viewers what we're testing. What kind of saw is this? These are silky saws. Three different sizes. Pocket boy, gone boy, and big boy. Pretty easy to remember. Have you done serious cutting with them yet? I have. And you've liked them? I love them. Okay. Haven't done a side-by-side -side with anything else, though. We're going to do it right now. Absolutely. Out here in the high desert in Wyoming. Yes. And check it. It's going to go up against the Wyoming saw. Awesome saw. A little bit heavy, but man, is it capable. I proved it in, yeah. well, Wyoming. Wyoming. That's where I tested it. Love it. Okay, so let's attack, PFI dude, um, that okay. thicker part up here. Okay. We're at the knife graveyard, in case you're wondering. And what I'd like you to do is, uh, we'll start sawing that, process that, and just work your way towards it. We'll start you off small, not with a big cut yet. Okay. I have some WD-40, so feel free to spray the blade as you see fit. Okay. That helps a lot. Um, I don't, maybe this will really impress me. Okay. But the thing I, I don't like about it is that binding, because you okay. don't have, it's a one-sided blade, and so as you're, you know, push cutting with it, it can bind. Okay. And it just seems like it's more efficient with this design, but okay. I'm always open to learn. Okay, let's do it. We'll you see how awesome both it is. Them first? I spray both sides. Okay. Yeah, shoot it. There you go. All right, where do you want this okay. one? Okay. Uh, oh, you're going to do this one? Well, whichever one. You tell me what you Yeah, want do cut. this one. I'll try to hold it steady for you. Okay. The problem is getting it real steady so I don't waste calories for okay. you. And it's, okay. it's it won't easier much. said to, okay. than done. Okay. Ready? You're pretty confident about this thing, aren't you? Yes, I am. Okay, hit it. Ooh, I like that. Do another cut with it. Okay. About, yeah, a couple inches in. Okay. Hit it. Okay, now do, where's that Wyoming saw? Here it is. Okay. Now do a cut with that. That's a lightweight unit, too. It is. For being as big as it is, right? That's what she said. Okay, now right here. Okay. Now on the screen, I'll attempt to put various models of the silky saws and their weight. What do you think? Honest, honest, honest. I'm giving it to the silky. Okay, good to know. Good to know. This one, this one cuts nice both ways. Mm -hmm. I think that one is has a better retract and cuts better on the pole. Okay. But this one feels like it's like it's like it's uh, tearing fibers more than cutting fibers to me. Okay. I think it cuts really good. Um, your silky seems like it has a more aggressive pattern to it. Okay. Uh, cool. I'm trying to adjust my screen here. There we go. I wonder how long this blade will last before it got dull. Do you know what kind of steel it is? It's their own proprietary Japanese steel. Where are these made? In Japan. Yeah, it cuts really good. It this does. One is, Whoops. This is the big boy. That's the big boy and a large tooth. Okay, now we're gonna kind of get serious with it though. Okay. Enough dicking around. Um, let's go right through here. Okay. And this kind of represents, I think, a, a more serious cutting task. Because number one, I could bind because yep. the log's not hanging into outer space and it's going to be a bigger cut. Okay. Let me go right here. I'm liking it. Really liking it. I do too. There's not a lot of binding. Really thin kerf on it. I really like that. Me too. Um, so you're not wasting a lot of energy with the cut. Mm, that wood smells good. It does. I love it. I just caught a whiff of it too. It's like that juniper. <laughs> Smoke and stuff. Wow, it did really good. It did really good. Um, so you try it. 
Okay. And then shoot, uh, do one with a Wyoming saw. Okay. And then we'll draw some conclusions. Okay. Maybe, uh, do you want to solve the little ones? It's up to you. Whatever you like. Maybe you we'll, we'll try. Those use are a one different tooth count. Okay. So those would be more like a backpacking type saw anyway. You probably, I mean, you could take a bigger saw. You do the Wyoming saws. I would take this one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because this one has a long enough blade where it can attack something like this. Right. And right. folded, same thing. I mean, you're in about the exact same package size as the Wyoming saw. Right? Right. It's probably lighter. This is nice too if you got to saw something down onto a flat surface that you can take that blade back an extra deal too. That's way cool. Tell them about the handle, what it's made out of. So it's a rubberized handle. I don't know what kind of material they use. Do you know what you're talking about? No, I don't. <laughs> but the metal goes all the way through it and it's rubberized. That I do know. Okay. I'll let you uh, the locking mechanism so far is uh, awesome. good. But yep. I mean, but this is just a prelim test. Yep. Who knows? Yep. Some dude out in the Alaska will buy this and it fails on me. Goes that nothing fancy. <laughs> he uh, screwed me. Here. Uh, yeah. Okay. May use this area in the future. Silky saw, big boy, two thousand. <laughs> Ah, that smells good. No, I love that. Smell. Kind of smells like hamster chips too. I'm kind of excited to come out with another saw option. To be honest with you, I dig these. This is the same one I trimmed my whole yard with last night. That's where all that stuff came from. In the trailer park? Yeah. How many trees do you have in front of the double wide? <laughs> A lot of trees. Do you? Got to make it look bigger than it is, right? I could bust out another, that's what she said, but. Okay, here we go, ready? Wyoming saw, PFI dude, by comparison. Okay. Did I spray that one? Yeah, you did. Okay, good. And this is definitely hardwood, right? It, it definitely is. Okay. This is no give me cut. We're not cutting pine. Cross cutting desert juniper. Okay, let me sit on this, let you. Yeah. Oh, Cutting slower, isn't it? It does, yeah. Not as aggressive a cut, is that right? Right. I wonder how many people are still watching at this point. <laughs> I know. They're probably like <laughs> dragging the slide bar over to just to see the recommendation. We're almost there. Looks like you're working harder with this one. I'm definitely working hard. Okay. After the last half, but see I'm hitting here too. Ooh, good point. So your your depth of cut is right. kind of being limited right now. Right. An advantage of the silky. Right. Okay. I, uh, I think we have some conclusions at this point. I've done a lot of cutting with a Wyoming saw already. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised, to be honest with you, how good that is. I don't hit. get to surprise you very often. Mm -mm. And I'm totally honest. I mean, I'm, I'm liking that a lot more than I thought I would. What I tell you at the shop? You're like, oh, you got to try these silky saws. What I like, say? Yeah, they, they're going to suck. <laughs> I, didn't <say> that. <laughs> I, was, I didn't hold back, man. Because you've tried a lot of saws. Yeah. Try, uh, break out that small or okay. the medium size one and just lop off right here. Because this is going to have a different tooth pattern. Yep, yeah, this is going to be a medium tooth. What's the model of this one again? This is the Gomboy. We'll call one, it the Gumby. Gumby, model 121. Get the box open here. Oh, there's still tape on it. Brand new out of the box. Knife check. Do you even have one on your person? I, do. I did, unless it fell out. <laughs> Somewhere. It's probably up where we were shooting. Gear check, fail. Really? You lost your blade? Yeah. Oh, freak. Ugh. I knew it wasn't a good spot to put it with the the binding on these pants on the pockets where Dude, it's so thick. in the desert, I, I unclip it and put it, it in the sucks. pocket. I've lost like that. three blades out here. Well, somebody's going to find a Kershaw launch somewhere. Oh, geez, that's a good knife. Here you go. Okay, this is the Gumby. The Gumby. And let's come over here. this way. And we'll cut right here. Wow, that's some good firewood right there. Look at those little rounds right oh, there. Oh, yeah. You can use them for smoking meat, too. 
Cutting where? Right here? Any, uh, probably right here. So we okay. have, if we come back with other saws, we don't have to go looking. It's not exactly easy out here finding trees of this size. It's actually very difficult. Dead ones. That looks like it cl cuts a lot slower. It does. A little bit shorter stroke and a finer tooth pattern. Would you rather run that or the Wyoming? I'd still rather run this one. It doesn't. Really? It's not a I'd take the Wyoming over that one, except that one's so much lighter. Yeah. It doesn't weigh anything. Well, and you can get this in that in that coarser tooth pattern. Oh, you can? Oh, yeah. That's That would be the perfect thing. That would be thing. perfect. A little bit smaller. Well, maybe. I mean, you don't have that breadth of cut. Right, right. Much. Um, How about it? Cool. Can we spray it? Uh, here. Yeah, I'd put that at more aggressive here, blade on it. For you. you weigh like 300 pounds, so just put we the weight on it. <laughs> I did not try to do that. I totally did not try to do that. But apparently it can happen. <laughs> what do I always if, say? If, if I can crazy, break it? Yeah, if you go crazy and you get just the tip and the right bend, that's funny. This is why I said these kind of suck. And I was not trying to do yeah. that. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm just sawing fast and then I didn't even bring that blade out all the way, but right. what just I said happened, what happened, yeah. happened. That it flexed and so as I pushed it in, yep, it bound up and snapped. Yep. So I guess cutting fast like that, maybe no go. <laughs> <laughs> huh, the things you learn. I kind of knew it would turn out that way. I'm kind of sad it did, actually. Making sure there's no steel in there. Yeah, there, there you go. I still like them. Oh, yeah, I think they're awesome saws. I like how light they are. I just keep a little bit more blade inside the inside the cup. Yeah, you'd have to be careful of that. I yeah. mean, I'm not condemning it for yeah, that Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the very, very tip. I mean, my bionic arm just has a yeah. high RPM, you That's know, what when it, it gets going in the cut. Yeah. You get into the mode. <laughs> I go breaking more shit out of here. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't mean to do yeah. it, guys. I really don't. Um, yeah, that, that more aggressive one would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, and you can do it in that same same size. Uh, I'm gonna, and they do have interchangeable blades, so you could take this blade yeah. and an aggressive blade. They probably have a meat blade and one for sausage. Yeah. Hot dogs. Oh, wait, I was thinking of the Germans. <laughs> uh, I think these are meant for arborists, right? So for tree mm -hmm. people, is that what they originally designed them for? Yeah. So if Japanese just, gardeners. Japanese gardeners. Mm -hmm. So you're trimming. And, but you know what? Even though I busted the tip off this, I'm still going to give it a high likability scale. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't light. fault it because of that. Yeah. It cuts like crazy. Yeah. So over that, um, I still like the Wyoming saw. The yeah. only thing I'll say on it is that it's heavy. Yeah. Because it's got that big cast aluminum frame the on it. The handle and stuff on it, right? Yeah. So, uh, we'll end it right there. Short video. In the high desert. Oh, these are all good saws. Um, I really went mine backpacking with this one from what I've seen. Yeah. With my luck, I'll get up there and snap that one in half, too. <laughs> Luckily, you got plenty of blade surface to keep some on the other side. Links at the bottom, if you're interested. See ya.